Are you ready to shoot a video, Bruce? Yeah. Howdy. Mountaineer Nate here. I ah, haven't heard that name in a while. It's from my older videos. I like it still, even though I don't use it all that t often. Yeah. But today is a special day because I have received an order from Black Diamond and thought uh, we'd go through the order today with the film on and with Bruce here to enjoy it. He's really excited. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Big old box full of goodies. What do you think's in there, Bruce? You want to play with it? So we'll go ahead and pull out the first item here. And this is a crampon bag. And I'm excited so that way I could store my crampons in it. And inside here is a coated neoprene. Uh, it's just really tough material and mesh so that way it can dry. Here, Bruce, you want to play with that? Give him the safe one. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, this is exciting. I've got crampons. These are the contact crampons by Black Diamond. On the bottom here has this uh, rubber feeling material which helps it from anti-balling. They're strap crampons, which are perfect because these are an all-purpose approach mountaineering crampon, uh, not technical climbing. And that's what I'm looking for at this point. Uh, it's 10 points on it. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to put these away from the baby, just uh, on the other side, so he can't grab them. Uh, next, I got a balaclav. Uh, which I'm really excited about because it's cold and I need to keep my face warm. Let's see. This is made mostly out of polyester and some elastane. And it's got a little different uh, fabric for the ear area. Suppose that's so that way you can have better hearing. Um, let's see what else. This one's a fun one. Bunch of wires and a jumbled mess. But this is Black Diamond's brand new Icon 500 lumen LED headlamp and the battery pack it's nice can come off of the headlamp through this cable and can go on my side inside my jacket to keep it from freezing up and losing power so this is going to be a lot of fun let's see if Bruce likes if I hold it down uh, for two seconds it becomes a colored light Bruce you like the colors? I think he does but I think he shouldn't be playing with bright lights. I might blind him. So keep playing with the crampon pack. All right, we got a new toy for Bruce here. And that is the brand, oh boy, baby over. Let's see. <laughs> Come on up here. <laughs> Next thing we got are the guide gloves. This is part of Black Diamond's Pro Series, great for skiing and mountaineering. Uh, they are made with a goat leather on the palm. They got a increased knuckle support and I believe it's suede right here on the thumb here, which is perfect for wiping your nose. No joke, that's what it's for. These are Gore-Tex and we'll take a closer look at all these things in future videos, but wait! We got a couple more items. I got ahead of myself there. Got Black Diamond's Lynx uh, Snow Shovel. This is their no frills, get the job done, T-gripped, anodized aluminum shovel. You can break it apart into two parts. Um, and I'm really excited to possibly be able to make some snow caves this year. That's why I got this. Ooh. A big one. Well, this ice axe is old. I got a, a strap for it finally, which I'm grateful for. This is the, oh, now the name is um, Vector. This is the Vector Leash. I believe that's what it's called. It's got this nice big loop here, so that way you can open up the loop with your glove on. Did I get that right? This is the lockdown leash. My assistant uh, just informed me. The vector is a different one. So lockdown leash. Uh, it's a 75 centimeter leash. This is a 70 centimeter 
ice axe. I got the big one because I'm around six feet tall. Wait, there's one more thing. So I went ahead, I stuffed it full of my sleeping bag. And this is the Mission 75 liter Alpine backpack. Great for cold weather. It's got features like a place to store crampons, place to store ice axes. It has a hydration pack area. I'm really excited for this because my last pack was an ultralight by Osprey, which was a really nice pack. Although it was a little bit on the small size for me because I'm a large and the pack is a medium slash large. And this one's also medium slash large, but I was relieved to discover that the adjusters actually do accommodate for a large size. So, with all this gear, we'll have more in-depth reviews after I test it. How did I do, Bruce? Here, say hi to the people at home. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it, so that way more people can find out about my channel. And go ahead and subscribe, if not for me, for Bruce. He's in love with getting subscribers.